Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. A trilogy fight between WBC champion Deontay Wilder and challenger Tyson Fury will occur in 2020, according to Fury's promoter Frank Warren, who says a two-way rematch clause has been agreed, and irrespective of what happens in the rematch, there will be a third fight. So we'll get to Frank Warren's uh, comments, uh, ex talking exclusively to Talk Sport, and then to a few thoughts, because obviously talking trilogy, and the second fight hasn't officially even been announced. So we don't know what's going to happen there and uh, what happens if it's a conclusive uh, result either way. Do we want to see a third fight? We'll talk about that. But also, there has been a number of fans talking about undisputed, undisputed, undisputed. We need undisputed next. It has to happen. And some of Deontay Wilder's fans have been adamant he wants that undisputed fight right now and after he beats Tyson Fury. But clearly, that cannot be the case if they've agreed a two-way rematch clause, meaning that they are booked up for two fights in a row. Meaning undisputed is just another far-off pipe dream. We'll come to that as well. But... Frank Warren's comments. So see here on screen, this is the article. Frank Warren confirms Deontay Wilder vs. Tyson Fury 3 will take place in the summer of 2020 following February rematch. So we'll just get down to his quotes here. Tyson is going to be back in the ring with Wilder on February 22, and they will fight again irrespective of who wins in the summer. So that, at the moment, is all tied up. And when he says that, he means obviously with the draw. So then if they have uh, the fight in February, February the 22nd, 2020, one person will be up 1-0 over the other guy, I guess, or, you know, 2-1, however you want to look at it. And then there will be the opportunity for the trilogy fight to square it all up again, or for the winner of the February fight to go up, you know, by two and conclusively put the rivalry to bed. But when you start talking trilogy so far out, you know, who knows exactly what could happen in this rematch and do we want to see a third fight? I know for me, my level of interest is going to be dictated by what happens in that second fight. And if, for example, Deontay Wilder starts his fury in, say, two rounds, do we need to see that again? It may end up being a little like the Luis Ortiz rematch where there was some interest from fans, but given they'd seen a conclusive result, it wasn't the sort of uh, fresh meat type of opponent that fans like to see or a highly sort of uh, anticipated rematch. I know Fury would, if he lost to Wilder in February, would talk up uh, his potential return in uh, a June fight or whenever it would be held. But I don't think there would be the same sort of spice as there you know, is for this rematch because of the controversial nature of the draw. Some people thinking Wilder won because he knocked Fury down twice. A lot of people also thinking Fury won because uh, he was outboxing Deontay Wilder for the majority of that fight before the knockdowns. So yeah, there is the potential a trilogy fight may not necessarily be too welcomed by fans depending on the result. But if Tyson Fury beats Wilder and he beats him on points, for example, Deontay Wilder would always have the rematch. So in that situation with him losing his belt to Tyson Fury, I could see there being more interest in that situation. But if it was a case of Wilder knocking Fury out in a conclusive manner, that would maybe dampen down the expectation and anticipation for a third fight in June. But seemingly, what Whatever the case, whatever it plays out in June, we're going to get the rematch. And I guess Frank Warren wanting to put that out now. Many of us just assumed Wilder as the champion was going to have a rematch clause here because they agreed to fight well ahead of the WBC coming in and awarding mandatory status to Tyson Fury. But now Fury, who's the mandatory, and if he loses, he will also have a two-way rematch clause. Well, this is going to be, I guess, for these two guys, the big in-ring rivalry, which will have an impact on their overall legacy. So it's a draw at the moment. So if they split it one apiece, I mean, what actually happens, um, say, for example, Fury beats Wilder, but then Wilder beats Fury. Is there going to be a fourth fight? Because, yeah, I mean, I don't know. That would seemingly um, be a question. But obviously, the, the undisputed side of things, too. There's been a number of fans since Anthony Joshua claimed back his titles from Andy Ruiz Jr., saying that Anthony Joshua was a stumbling block to an undisputed fight because he had a couple of mandatory challenges. And some fans have been saying Wilder wants undisputed. 
There should be no barriers to undisputed. He wants it, Joshua doesn't. But that narrative has now been uh, sort of blown out of the water because he cannot be in an undisputed fight if he's signing deals to have two fights in a row with Tyson Fury. You can't. That doesn't make sense to sort of say that one doesn't want it over the, the other because seemingly both are booked up for the best part of the next year. And the earliest it looks like it could happen is the end of 2020. But this is boxing, so we should expect to wait. So 2021 would be more realistic. And we have to consider the possibility that it never happens with the current crop of fighters that are around. Wilder, Fury, Joshua. The politics may just prevent it. They may eventually fight, but maybe not all the belts are on the line or any belts. It might be a case of uh, past prime fighters fighting each other in a couple of years' time. It's sort of like uh, Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather. They fought well past you know, when they should have actually got in the ring together. That would have been a much better fight had it happened around the turn of this decade as opposed to 2015. So I wouldn't necessarily like to see us pushed into that situation, but it's boxing. We should expect the worst, hope for the best, and then just wait for whatever happens. And we'll be waiting a long time. But yeah, what do you make of this news? A trilogy, no matter what, according to Frank Warren. A two-way rematch deal. So there will be a third fight somewhere in the middle of 2020. And seemingly undisputed, pushed out again, again, again. We'll see. Drop a comment. Loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Boxing underscore squared. I'm out.